Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through how we built our pole barn and the apartment inside. I kind of just picked up my camera and would film here and there throughout this whole process. We broke ground for our apartment last fall and then we worked on building our apartment pretty much after Christmas. We hit it hard and then once we sold our home, we were able to move right into the apartment. So I'm gonna show you guys all of that footage and now I'll start by showing you how we laid out our pole barn. Um, we put our driveway in. We had some Amish that were nearby build our pole barn and they were extremely fast. Like they had it up in two days which was crazy and they were a really good price so we were really happy with them they actually don't live here anymore they moved to a different state so i'm really bummed about that they were so wonderful to work with so i hope you guys enjoy seeing this timeline of events getting the barn to the place that it is today but this is pretty laid back vlog style footage that i just took with my iphone on a whim i would pick it up here and there so make sure to like this video if you like it and i will have my home building playlist link down below we are living in this apartment until our main home is built we're building a house on our land so this is a temporary space but we are going to leave this apartment up forever that way we'll be able to just have it here but I also have other videos in that playlist showing when we moved in I had two different moving vlogs I also show decorating the living room and the kitchen this is the kitchen in our apartment so I showed how I decorated the shelves in one of the videos but i am planning on doing a full kitchen design and just what we did to this kitchen with the cabinets where we got everything how we built the shelves everything detailed into designing the kitchen i'm going to do a whole separate video on that so that'll be really fun make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that one but let's go ahead and start from the beginning Lots of progress has been made at the property today. We had a guy come out and move a bunch of dirt work so we can get our barn ready, which is so exciting. All of our materials for the basement got delivered as well. So we are rocking and rolling. Taylor and I just put the stakes down to place the pole barn. We measured it all out, put the stakes down. That way we could kind of get a overall feel of what the barn would look like. So we're gonna go finalize that. We also have staked down the house but I think we're gonna wait until tomorrow to finish out the rest of it. But so far, so good. This is such an exciting week. All right, so you can see the four stakes. That is where the pole barn is going to go. We had all this dirt work done today. So he pushed all of this over. This was a really big ditch over here. So he just kind of sloped it down and filled it all in. It looks so much better. Here is the front of the barn. You can see kind of the stakes. And then the back portion is going to be a little apartment, a little living quarters that we are building. So that is the layout. So it's about half the barn. You looking for dinosaur bones? Um, yeah, but I found a couple. Wanna go see them? Yeah, show me. We attempted to get some drone footage and it was kind of a fail. The first time I got it stuck in the tree line over there to have a semi get it down for us. Um, Taylor stood on the back of it with a big piece of pipe and got it out. So that was fun. And then the drone, it's, it's like a decent one, but it's definitely not like super high quality of a camera. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Hopefully we can figure out how to fly this thing a little bit better so we can get some better shots. All right, the pole barn is staked out. Okay. All right, the pole barn is staked out. We've got all this dirt work that got finished today. So yay, so exciting. This over here, was sloped down and it was just very steep so there's no way we could have gotten the barn this close to the tree line so it's all good we've got it all staked out we just put these 
down. So here are the four corners. There, you can kind of tell like what the barn's gonna look like. The barn's gonna be all white and they're coming this week to frame it up. And then we are pouring concrete this weekend. In the middle here, we have some tie bar that we're going to roll down. And the driveway is going to lead up to the center of the barn. Once you're in the barn, it's gonna look just like a regular barn. We're gonna have a walkthrough door over on this side. So we're gonna have this as our view in the back. And then we're going to put some living quarters in the barn itself. So come this way and I'll give you a little tour. We're gonna have a door somewhere in this area, in this corner um, where you'll walk through and we're going to have a little apartment in here. So this will be our living room, kitchen area. The kitchen will be along this back wall and then the living room will be here. We'll have two windows on this side of the barn which will be really good for some natural sunlight. And then somewhere around here-ish, we're going to have a wall and we're gonna have one bedroom and one bathroom. And it's gonna be split down the middle. So our bathroom will be here. We're gonna have our washer and dryer, we'll have laundry hookups, all that stuff. So that'll be wonderful. And this is what it's gonna be. This is gonna be our little home for the next however many months until our house is done getting built. So the rest of the week, we just have to get the driveway put in. We're gonna put this tie bar down, put rock on it. the concrete's done they can come finish the outside of the barn and then the garage door was eight weeks out so as soon as it comes in we'll be able to put it up so our apartment will be in here in this part of the barn it's gonna start on this beam going up we'll have 12 foot ceilings we're gonna have our kitchen in that corner over there our sink will be right here and we'll have like a living room, open room for all of that, kitchen, living, and dining. And then we're gonna have one bedroom that will be back here. And we're just gonna do one. And then we have our bathroom and our utility room for our washer and dryer that will be in this corner. And we're having our um, shower and tub unit put in here. So that's where our home's gonna be until our forever home is built. We've got a door from the side, so we'll be able to get in through there. We also have a garage door. It's gonna be installed here, so I'll be able to park my car in right here. We'll have storage on either side. Whenever we were looking at campers and trying to decide if we wanted to do a camper or if we wanted to rent or if we wanted to build our own apartment in our pole barn we were already building, um, when we looked at the campers, we liked the ones that had the taller ceilings just because it made it feel bigger. Even though it wasn't technically any bigger, it just felt bigger because the ceilings were taller. So I'm hoping that's the case for the pole barn apartment. But honestly, I'm so excited to design this, pick it all out. Our cabinets and stuff, we're going to go to like either Ikea or like a discount cabinet place and just find whatever is the best price and put that in the kitchen. I wanna keep it really cost effective, but I also want it to fit my aesthetic, even if it's just colors. So even though like the bathroom vanity may not be the exact look that I like, I'm gonna paint it so it's a color that I like. And the floor, even though it may not be the like type of wood that I would want, it's still the same color scheme. So as long as the colors are good in the apartment, I think we'll be good to go. But anyways, this is a little rundown of what it's looking like so far. So I'll keep you guys updated, but 
It's officially December. It's December 1st. So actually it's December 2nd. It's already going by quick. December's here. It is 60 degrees out. It feels great. We showed our house last night. We have another showing tonight. So we'll see if these buyers are interested, make an offer. We're ready. So after the barn was officially up and the shell of it was here, Taylor and my dad started working on the apartment. So first they put up all of the posts and they framed out the rooms. So it was pretty easy since we only have one bedroom and one bathroom slash laundry room. We didn't put any closets in the apartment. So it was very straightforward. We had to put up the poles on the walls. They were 12 foot poles and that's how tall the ceilings are in the apartment. They had to do the top part of the ceiling as well. Once that was done, we had an electrician come in and wire the whole apartment. That way we would have power to it. Once he had all of that set and the plumbing was roughed in, we were able to hang insulation. We just did regular insulation from Menards. We were thinking about maybe doing spray foam, but since this is the apartment, we went with the more affordable option was just standard insulation. We also didn't put any light fixtures in here. We just have can lights. That's what I call them. I don't even know if that's what they're called. It's just the inset lighting. We have six lights in our main living and kitchen area and the two lights in the kitchen are on their own switch. So I can shut off the light in the living room at night and still have the kitchen one on if I'm doing dishes or something. So that was a good idea that our electrician had mentioned that way all the lights weren't like all on or all off because that's what we were originally going to do since it's such a small space and then I think we have four lights in our bedroom and then four lights in the bathroom the only thing I wish we would have done in the bathroom is had a light fixture above our mirror we didn't put one in the lights are really bright and we got some lights that were dimmable so you can make them brighter or you can make them a little more dim but overall, I always have them turned all the way up so I can see putting my makeup on and stuff. But the lighting is really great in here. For only having two windows, I'm really impressed. Maybe it's because it's such a small space, but the can lights put off so much light and we went with a daylight bulb. So it's really no problem at all. I also have a few lamps in here. If I don't want all of the bright lights on at night, I can just flip a few lamps on. I also have a lamp on my countertop and one in the living room and one in the bedroom. So that's plenty of lighting for the evenings. And pretty much after that, we installed our tub and shower. Our plumber did that. He was able to do all the plumbing work. He ordered the hot water heater, which we have tucked away in the bathroom behind the door. We have a full size tub and shower which is what I was really hoping for that's one of the reasons why we didn't go with the camper because one they're just very small and two they don't typically have full-size showers and tubs some of them do but most of them don't so having a full-size shower is like glorious the plumber put in the toilet and he also hooked up the sink for us and like the faucets and everything so that was all really good but brooks seriously loved coming out here all the time helping the guys he loved picking up the nails and just organizing, cleaning up trash. He just loved to be a helper. So that was really fun and sweet. We also brought his bike out here and he would just do circles on the concrete. He loved riding his bike. And we did have a heater. We rented a commercial size heater that contractors use when they're building things. That way we could heat the space before we got um, any type of heating and air because it was in the dead of winter and it was so cold whenever we were building this apartment. So we needed something. So we were able to come out and hang out with them while they were doing their thing, building, and Brooks loved it. He was always asking to come out here. My job was basically to run and go get them whatever they needed. I don't even know how many times I went to Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, just running back and forth. There would be days where I would run from the old house to the apartment like six times, not including trips to Menards and stuff. So that was mainly my job was just to go get anything that they needed at the last minute, things that they would run out of. I would also bring dinner out every night for them so they didn't have to stop. So Taylor and dad both work full-time jobs, so they would get off work 
work and then come straight out to the apartment and start working. So they had full, full days. Every little ounce of daylight mattered. So they would come straight from work. And so I would just bring dinner out to them so I didn't have to stop. And lots of coffee, lots of Starbucks runs, gas station coffee, all the things. I finally brought out a Keurig for them and they would just drink coffee all night long while they were working. So they are hard, hard workers and I'm so thankful for them. They really busted this place out and they did so good. There were some things that they had never done before and they just researched and I think they seriously did such a good job. Next up was drywall. We had someone come and hang all of the drywall for us. That took him I think a couple of days, maybe like two days at the most. Then we went to Menards and picked up some tape and some drywall mud and pretty much just came back and they worked on it for a couple of days. I feel like this took the longest chunk of time. So they'd have to tape all of the seams and then mud it down. And then they, I think they even went in with a second coat of that, which all the seams and areas and patches just took a little while. It's very tedious work. We had some scaffolding to reach the ceiling. Um, the ceiling's just flat, so they had to just mud all of that. It was very time consuming. And then once it all was up and dried, you had to sand it all down and you should have seen them after they were sanding it. They were like completely white <laughs> and just dust everywhere. The heater was also good for the drywall since it was so cold whenever we were hanging it and finishing it. Okay, I'm here at the barn and we are making major progress. We've got the studs put in, we've got our insulation in, drywall has been hung up and now we are finishing it. So. By we, I mean Taylor and my dad. So they're in there now, finishing out the drywall, mudding it, taping it off. It's still really cold here. I think it's 30 degrees, but we have a temporary heater in there right now to just keep the mud from cracking and just making sure it dries really well. So it's actually really warm in the apartment, but it's looking so good. I'm so excited. You can really see how big the room is. The 12 foot ceilings really make a big difference in making it feel bigger in there. So I'm really thankful we decided to do that. But the next steps are picking out the flooring and cabinets and then moving everything in. So really exciting stuff. It's about to go down, but really excited about the progress we've made this last week or the last couple of weeks with the drywall. And then once the drywall was done, it was time to paint. So I went to Home Depot and I love the Bear Marquee line of paint that they have there. And you can pretty much color match it to any color that you want. So I picked Sherwin-Williams Alabaster and we ended up getting, I think two five gallon buckets of that paint. And we painted all of the walls in here. My dad came in with a paint sprayer and just sprayed all the walls down. First we did prime them with some Kiehl's primer. And then we just painted it with the alabaster and we ended up painting the ceiling that same color as well just to have it all blend really well and since it's 12 foot ceilings I feel like you can't really tell it's the same color since it is a white it's just kind of a warmer toned white and then once we got to trim we had so much of the alabaster paint left we decided to just paint the trim the same color. I had seen a few people do it on blogs and I love the way it looked. It was just a nice, very cohesive look. Um, so for out here, I was like, let's just save some money, use the paint that we have. So we painted all of the trim in the alabaster color as well. And I don't mind it at all. Would I do it in our main house? Probably not. I do think I'll use the alabaster though on the walls. I love that color. It is so relaxing and cozy and welcoming. In our last house, we had more of a stark white and I really did like that as well. It's very clean, very modern, but I feel like this warmer white just kind of brings everything in and makes it feel more lived in. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I really do like the alabaster. After the paint, we were able to go pick out some flooring and I went to Menards and we were 
we originally were thinking we would just get a sheet of vinyl, something just very affordable that we could throw down that would do the job. But we started looking at some laminate, just plank flooring that was also really affordable, pretty much the same price as the sheet vinyl. So we decided to go with the, the planks because I think they would hold up a little bit longer over time. So we got this foam plastic to lay down underneath all of the floors at Menards. And then we were able to install the flooring. Luckily, my dad has experience in laying floor like this. So he had a laminate cutter and all of the tools and stuff. And they were able to get this done in a few days. Actually, I was gone. I think I had went somewhere. I don't even remember what I was doing, but Taylor and dad were working on it like on a Saturday morning. And by 10 a.m. he was sending me pictures like this whole entire li living room and kitchen area were done. So that went down pretty quick. And we did set our cabinets before we laid all of the flooring but I'm really happy with the flooring that we picked out. After we finished the floors, we were able to put the trim up and we also put our exterior and interior doors in. We went to Menards and got some pre-hung doors who were just like the basic ones. They weren't wood, they were just like that um, composite material, I don't even know. They come in this like kind of off-white gray color and they're paintable, so I painted them with the Fusion Mineral Paint in putty and I did a few coats of that that is my favorite like taupey color taupey gray color that I used in my last house a lot. I had my pantry door painted that color in our last home and I loved it. So I wanted to break up all of the alabaster here in this house with something fun, something different. And I love the doors painted this color. I think it is so pretty, so relaxing. And I went with a black handle. I ordered all the handles and locks from Amazon and they turned out really well. I liked the square back on them and like more of the modern handle. So really happy with those. Last but not least, we put in our bathroom vanity. We picked that up from Lowe's. It was very affordable. And I already had a mirror from our last house that I was gonna hang over top of it. So that is pretty much it for the barn. This is what it looks like now. If you guys wanna go see some more videos of what it looks like, you can go check those out. I'll link them down below. And I will do a full apartment tour. So stay tuned tuned for that. I'll show you guys what it looks like now after we've moved in and kind of made it cozy. And I have some more projects that I'm planning on doing as well. Like I have a coffee bar area and some open shelves that I'm going to style up and I'm going to put some pretty labels on some glass jars. So stay tuned for all of that. And I'll also be doing the full kitchen video as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.